how I would summarize all of this is that there's sort of this dichotomy in GraphQL where you want the flexibility of GraphQL because that gives you a lot of power, right? As developers, you can go in and you can request the exact data that you need. It's just exactly what you asked for, which is incredibly nice to work with. And you can traverse these relations, you can traverse the entire graph of your data. But then that flexibility comes with the trade-off of now you have a really flexible API. And so if you just open that up to the world, if you expose it, then people can just send whatever queries they want. They can request whatever data they want. And often your backends aren't prepared to handle that. And there, there's lots of novel attack vectors in the way that GraphQL works with aliases and um, deeply nested queries and whatever you want that just could really mess up your backend and cause you to send millions of database reads to your database. And so I think if I were to summarize everything you just said, it's like there's a, that dichotomy in the flexibility of GraphQL. And we realize that there's a lot of tooling we can build to help people and help companies open up their APIs to the world. 